Cheer on New Zealand. It's your main man, JK. The wonky jonky, your supreme leader and friend, John Key. As some of you may know, our attempts to change the flag earlier this year were somewhat quashed due to, and I quote, a lack of good design and a whole heap of shit right there in the middle. Because of this, I and a team of other politicians have come up with a new design for a flag that truly represents New Zealand. So, we start with a base colour of green, because of all that green shit we have around. And then, what do we do better than anybody else? Sheep! So, we put a sheep smack bag in the middle. But how does that sheep represent our sporting prowess? With Richie McCaw's face photoshopped over the sheep's face. And what are we known for globally? Those films! So, we've got a one ring right at the top there. And what about our technological advancements? Well, can you see the Fisher and Piker washing machine filled to the brim with traditional New Zealand stubbies? But does it represent the history of our nation? It does, with the mower right next to Sheepy McCaw. Not enough history, you say? Well, never fair, for we've got that mower pecking at a dead Maori. And it wouldn't be a true New Zealand flag without the addition of a New Zealand silver fern right there in the background. And to top off this multicultural cake, it's your main man JK with a traditional Maori face tattoo giving the thumbs up. So New Zealand, think it over. What really represents you, this colonial crap, or this cunningly disguised masterpiece? So New Zealand, don't make the same mistake as last time. Tin of cocoa, tin of cocoa, tin of cocoa, cardboard.